Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Digital Flash Fire. This is Dan. Uh, we've been away for a little bit of a while. Uh, just had some technical difficulties getting division videos that where the sound isn't awful and um, letting Matt finish his uh, semester without, you know, failing all of his classes. So today we're going to take a look at uh, Battlefleet Gothic Armada. This is a uh, beta um, so far, it seems really, I mean, it's really true to the the, uh, the IP, uh, for those not familiar with it. In the grim darkness of the future, there is only intolerance. Um, Trump would love the Imperium. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the, um, basically the skirmish mode which is the meat of it at this point, just letting people play the game. I'm going to do the Imperials. And, of course, I am Coralin. So, we're going to hop in. The So far, there's three factions. There's the Imperials, who are the, the close-range, get-in-their-face, ground-and-pound ships. Um, very much modeled after the, the British Navy in uh, the Napoleonic era. The Chaos is at, um, after the French. They tend to be longer ranged, but have a little bit of trouble holding it together. And the Imperials, who are the... Or the sorry, the Orcs, who are basically lots and lots of pirates. Now, I happen to love the way torpedoes work in this game. So I'm actually going to go with a lot of torpedoes. Um, actually, yeah. Now early on you get... Hang on. <laughs> early on you get 300 point battles and that lets you take two big ships, or sorry, 250 point battles, which lets you basically take two of your large ships and that's it. Now it's Cruiser Clash. Basically I'm going to be facing other cruisers. I am against the Imperium. Traitorous scum. And the Dauntless Light Cruiser is your starting ship. It's a good enough ship. In the actual game it was a phenomenal ship. It was way overpowered. Now you see here in the map that there's a lot of terrain. There's gas clouds which hide you, there's um, asteroids which both hide you and damage you, and there's also mines concealed about the field, and you'll you'll see those eventually, but for now, you can drop your ship. You see there's two circles, there's a blue circle, and then there is a green circle. The blue circle is an exclusion zone for other ships. The green ship circle ready. is basically your your field of view. Now, one of the things about torpedoes is you actually have Understood. unlimited torpedoes. So first, I'm going to make sure my ships aren't going to hit each other. And then we're going to start dropping torps. So they reload in 45 seconds. So I'm going to throw out a lot of torpedoes in this game. When we do that, you can see there's already eight of them out there aimed vaguely at this guy. I didn't even pick a skill. Um, there are skills that you pick in this game that are actually fairly important, so we're gonna we're gonna fix that before the next battle. Torpedoes running very nicely, it looks like. Now he can see those, so he's moving to dodge them. It looks like this one might hit, and the rest of them are gonna be clean misses. Oh, there's. Uh, that's his that's his defense fire. So it looks like everything missed, but we're loaded again. So what we're gonna do. Changing course. That's good. Now ideally you want to kinda hammer an anvil it. You want to have the torpedoes traveling so that no matter which way he turns, he's going to eat some torpedoes. And you see he's ducked into the field. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Now he can break this way and avoid them all, but it looks like... Well, there's where he's firing from. Ooh. 
Underway. Torpedoes are not easy weapons to use. What we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of spread out received. a little. Because this guy's still gonna be my yes. primary target. Engines and the Dauntlesses are extremely maneuverable ships, so I definitely want to take advantage of that. Course. Bam. Enemy nice big sighted. hit from the torpedo. And there we go. That's a nice Awaiting hit. Orders. Targeting enemy so somehow in the orders cruiser strike received. mission, my opponent has gotten himself a bunch of escorts. Seems kind of unfair. And you'll see I'm doing ramming damage to this guy. Ramming is... Very good if you're the bigger ship. It's not so good if you're the smaller one. Uh, got four seconds. And torpedoes away. Ooh, just missed. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay, good. Fire on board, we repair that. Finish off this guy, and you can see he's heavily damaged. Gonna break up any second now. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> Boom, he's he's toast. We are the Imperial Navy. Cruising speed set. So we're going to ramp around. You can see this guy's at full burn, everyone else is kind of slow boating it a bit. Now that lightning strike is basically a, a, a critical hit roll. And depending on what the enemy ship is doing, it changes the kind of roll you're getting. So that... If the enemy is trying to escape, it's automatically going to um, keep him from trying to escape if it succeeds. You'll see I'm pasting this uh, enemy Dauntless, who is apparently going to try to escape. Come on, refresh everything. Get him, get him, get him. And he escaped. Boo. Yes, Admiral. So he's now on fire, and that's probably going to be about all she wrote for that guy. Imperial ships get huge accuracy up close. It is really nasty. Lightning's right. Boo. Astral command. Orders received. Your orders? Nah, he's not quite going that fast. Setting course. We're gonna just keep pounding on this guy. This is actually a very long battle. Course plotted. Engines to maximum. Torps. Ready. Stop burning. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Looks good. Yes, look at that. Wrecked him. Finally a good torpedo strike. Uh, 
And that, that's how the battles play out. Now this one is a very small, very simple one, where I've just got the two cruisers and a bunch of escorts. Or against a bunch of escorts, I should say. Now Renown is how they measure the... Um, the, the progress, and you see I destroyed three enemy ships, I get bonus renown for not having a full strength fleet. Pay a little bit for fleet upkeep, but 115 earned. And I've got 215 total renown. Both of my ships leveled. Back here we see I have stats, I have skills. So we're going to get the Void Shield, Transfer Skill. And this one actually has a lot more options because it, uh, it went through the battle. So we're going to go we're actually going to go defensive. We're going to for shields, the crew, or sorry, the skills, again, I love me some support skill. Now the crew, you can see troop value of the ship increases by three, servitors, cooldowns go down by 4%, 25% um, critical emergency repairs, navigator, commissar, we're actually going to go with servitors because I love me reduced cooldowns. Especially when it's 4%. Upgrades again, we're going to just boost the shields. I'll give you an idea, the shields just went from 100 to 200. That's a no-brainer. Hop into the next battle. Ramming lighter ships is a proven and efficient tactic. No kidding. Can't wait to see what a battleship does. Again, we're going to go with these two ships. And we're going against the Orcs. Now the Orcs, even more than the Imperials, are an extremely close-range faction. What the Orcs aren't is maneuverable. So my ships are going to go in and... This is actually a faction where I want to more or less keep the range open. So to do that, I'm going to deploy kind of in the corner. Redeploy. Back up a bit. This way, I'm looking out over the battlefield here. Your orders. Perfect. To move towards the nebula. Yes, Admiral. And just throw some out there addressed to whom it may concern. Now these blips represent enemy ships. You'll notice that there's five again, so we're probably... We might actually be looking at two light cruisers. Orc ships are extremely inexpensive. Um, they're actually fairly tough. Um, they're very susceptible to critical damage, it seems, but they are... Um, if you're just grounding and pounding them, it is going to take a while. And That's your command. Two, one. Awaiting orders. Two, one. And this guy might just split the hairs. Oof. Now I'm letting them go through this asteroid field because they will take a good bit of damage doing it. Come on, damn it. That was a terrible shot. That's your command. Understood. Your orders. Ship ready. Now this is 
probably an escort, and the one behind it's probably a cruiser. Oh my goodness! Enemy ship sighted. Oh, and they have dropped a bomb in my way. Reloading. Oh, that was a mistake. Well, that, that, that's an escort. Engines hot. And they have bombs coming in, and these are all escorts. Ooh. You see, they're just charging in and ramming, and it's not really doing it to And there's the cruiser. So that's the guy I want to be throwing towards. And you need to get the fuck out of here. Changing course. Orders received. Helm coordinates acknowledged. So that, and you'll see he's got a lot more uh, health, even though it's only a light cruiser. Changing course. Throw some torps out, even though they're orders. not likely to hit. Engines to maximum. Cruising speed set. Away. Now those torps have a good chance on that cruiser. Boom! There's a hit. Ship ready. Set my ships to engage the enemy more closely. Now we're pounding the escorts partially because they have mostly committed suicide. <laughs> Enemy ship sighted. Go go go! Get out of there. Okay, that was nice. All ahead, full. Cruising speed set. Your orders. Share some shields out. Understood. At your command. And Corpse. Initiate emergency repairs. Reloading. Yes, Admiral. Um, can we ram that guy? Get there, get there. Yes. You see the sparks fly when you ram a guy. Changing course. And he's down. Fire some torpedoes at this Orders guy. Received. Reloading. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Ooh, the get out of there. Will guide us out. Helm so he's trying to warp place. out. And he's Underway. So the orc has managed to escape. Sadly. And Escaping I've managed to escape. Zone. That makes me happy. Losing a ship can Understood. be very, very painful. And he's going to try to ram, but ramming an Imperial ship head-on is a terrible idea. Imperials have amazing prow armor. But you saw how tough the Orc ship was. Um, I don't even know if he was at half hull when he escaped. So yeah, that is the basics of this game. Um, we'll circle back later, show you some slightly more uh, advanced gameplay once I have more. once I have some more ships. But for now, thank you for watching. This is Dan for Digital Flash Fire, and have a good day.